to try to record my best without getting copyright with the music that's playing in the background. But why is my phone? Look, <laughs> does it look weird on the viewfinder? Or is that normal? Kind of looks a little weird. Look at that, they got some. Uh, dude, seeing these in person brings so much memories. I used to play the heck out of Adamantium Rage. And then they also have Donkey Kong, Rogue Squadron, Squadron, The Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong 64. And then these are, I don't know what these are, like burned games possibly? What are these over here? Booklets? Game booklets? Oh, it is. That's pretty cool. And then they got some NES. Some NES stuff over here. Home, Home Alone? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, what? Captain America. There you go, Brad. Whoa, look at this. This is actually pretty cool. What's the price on this? 50 bucks. I've never seen this before and they also have a batman playset over here too that's pretty awesome i don't know the price on that 30 dollars okay oh look at i remember these as a kid never owned any of these but i did want some booklet for anime or x-men apocalypse i used to play this look brad look what they have down there look at that all these video games that they have there's a donkey kong 64 box over there and then they got a lot of look at the they have the video game strategy guide for Zelda down that way. Some consoles, Sega. We also have some video games right over here. Spider Man. What the? Dude, I didn't, honestly don't even know what to look. Look at Xeno Xenophobe. You ever heard of that? Xenophobe. There's a lot of games here. Jaws. Look, they have the gold Zelda one over there for 25. The gold, the, the gold case. This is like straight memories right here. Tons of games. Box ones over there too. Okay, here we go. We got some figures. Some action figures. Sailor Moon, Brad, your favorite thing. I'm assuming these are vintage. The Power Ranger ones that they have. The goblins. Oh, how much is this? Yeah, I do need, I do need that. Okay, they have a... Uh, how much are you asking for the... Uh, I was asking 30. 30 on them? You don't have the weapons or anything? No. to go with them? Just that's it? Okay. Would you do 25 on them? Sure. Yeah, do you take Zell or...? Yeah. Okay. Um... What is in here? There he is. There he is, Brad. I think this is like the actual. Is this the vintage one? It might be the actual vintage one. We got some TMNTs. Oh, dude, this is. These are the. I grew. I used to have this figure as a kid. I actually had a lot of these. The Bucky O'Hare. I don't even think I even knew what they were when I when I had originally picked these up. Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, $70, controllers and plugs for Nintendo 64. I, you know I never owned a 64 growing up. Controller and plugs, what do you think? What else we got? A lot of games. I And I don't know anything about like the resale game or the game. Oh man, look at that. $80. Is Tur that Turtles in Time? I think that's or the Manhattan Project. Not sure. What do we got over here? Adam's Family. Uh, this is Tekken. Tekken figures I've never seen. I've never even seen the Adam's Family stuff. They got more stuff over there. Cards. How's it going? Oh, they got some box stuff right there, right? More games. Street Fighter VHS. Hey, I think I used to Zelda. Capcom, I think I own that as a kid. Spider-Man stuff. What do we got over here? Wrestling stuff, Brad. Magazines. Yeah, a random bin full of loose figures. It's a lot of newer stuff though. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, the screens, repairs. Um, oh, that's, uh, that, this is newer. We got VHSs of Power Rangers. You asking a dollar on these? Yeah. So there's this one. Let me see. That one. That one's a dollar because it's kind of messed up on the side. Yeah. Have, oh, some of them are like two copy. bucks. Oh, you have another copy of it? Yeah, it's a bit nicer copy. Got some turtle ones. Oh, nice. They have the dumpster, high five. Ah. You take Zell? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You know what? I'll grab. I'll grab. The, you have different ones, right? Yeah. There's a, Thanks, man. Which one I got there? Grab some of these. This one. I'll just grab this one too. I'm at it. Blade. I think I have this one sealed. Yeah. It has a sticker on it. 
Yeah, they got a vintage Spider-Man video or a Monopoly a turtle, a giant size Michelangelo. There is a lot. Well, look at this PlayStation. This is the first one, right, bro? See, because I want a first edition PlayStation too. Oh, here's some vintage stuff they got over here. Multiple dinosaur toys. That's a that's a vintage uh, Dragon Dagger right there. Box full of controllers. Yeah, some box games over there. That's Link. What is it? It's Link and Zelda both over there. Stuff. I'm trying to record as much as I can without getting copyright because there's a lot of music going on and I really don't feel like doing a voiceover. 330 for that price. Clean it says. But we, we I think we're gonna work on I think Brad and I are gonna work on our first retro console buying is either a N64 or I want a Sega Genesis. Yeah, we got some they got a Aladdin right here and then they also have NBA Jam and then a box Mortal Kombat. That is crazy. Look at this. One of the freaking combat too. No manual though. No manual. I kept a lot of this stuff I remember as a kid. Turok. Turok was such a good game. Turok. They got Resident Evil 2, Super Mario 64. The artwork on this one is so cool. 125. That looks so clean. And a bunch of Sega Genesis games right over here. Here's a Game Genie. That's pretty cool. I don't. So this is actually a comic. No, no, it's a sports store that has like mini conventions in it. So I, it's, I want this sign. I wonder what, what do you think they're asking for that sign, bro? Right, that was bottom box. So I was hoping to like record a lot in here. But again, like I said, the music, there's a lot of music going on in here. But this is like a retro gaming thing that they have over there or in here. So it's a lot of video game stuff. Um, don't think I'll end up purchasing a console today. But it's motivating me more definitely to get into, um, you know, buying the retro, the retro game stuff. Like this guy over here, he's got, he's got some awesome, look at this, look at this awesome 89 Batman packaging here. Jeez, it's just, like the nostalgia of this place is freaking insane. And they sell uh, figures in here too. I got, a, I got a few things, nothing too crazy. This is where we were at, sports cards and collectibles, located in Placentia. So they just had this pop up basically um, with Retro Respect, that's who was there. This is the uh, is the address, I don't know if the address is on here. Um, is there hours? And this is what was going on today, the Retro Respect. This is the name of the location too. Well, that's their Instagram for the, the owners. So it's mainly sports cards and Pokemon cards. Uh, we spotted some 30% off clearance stuff at Target. But of course, there's gonna be nothing that I want. It's a Fast and Furious set there. 30 bucks. And another clearance section. This one has some Space Jam. And of course the Eternal stuff, because this, this stuff should have been on clearance a long time ago. 689. I still think that's a lot of money for those. What do we got in there? Yeah, just the figure section it is. So we don't normally come to this Target, but it was right by that uh, card place we were just at. And I figure, why not stop by? Like they got some Titan Jokers, just one. Some Transformers. And then, let's see what the DC Multiverse stuff. Drifter Batman, gold label stuff. Doesn't look like there's anything, anything new. No, that's it. Not a whole lot going on. I wonder if they have... Oh yeah, I was gonna say if they have the Jurassic Park section and they do. I think a lot of this is the same stuff, I'm sorry, that I've seen, kitchen set. Okay, I'm gonna check out the NECA section here. Oh, they got a nice universal, oh, like, I know a lot of people are still trying to find this guy, but they do have some universal monsters. Well, they have Penguin, they have Penguin and they have Catwoman here. Penguin, Catwoman, Boxing Batman. There's a, always find the Boxing Batman. That's pretty cool seeing all those in stock now. Splendor Art Series. I think that's it. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here. All right, guys. So this is uh, my haul. Well, this is an Amoeba Records bag. Any of you guys been to Amoeba Records? I did some videos here before. Um, so Retro Respect, that was at a local card shop, which is like probably like five minutes from where I live. And um, I guess it's, they have they have shows like every Wednesday, I think it is, and also on the weekends. I went there 
Today, as I'm filming this, is Sunday, which is when they have the retro respect, the video game stuff. Um, yesterday, I went there on Saturday, and it's the regular shows that they have. It's mainly sports cards. That's mainly what it is. Uh, but today, they did have the retro stuff, and um, Brad and I are trying to look for some consoles because we want to start buying some vintage games. I'm still learning about it. I don't really know much about the vintage stuff. But let me tell you something. Um, like, viewing all of those games seeing them like i haven't seen a lot of those cartridges or boxes since i was a kid really really like brought it like a tear to my eye because it just so much nostalgia went through me but i will end up doing video game hauls soon or hunts i guess you can say consoles and everything um i want to start with the sega genesis and then go from super nintendo um and then uh, n64 i never owned an n64 as a kid i did own a, own a sega and super nintendo and of course nes and then a playstation one so i do want to so i'm going to start with sega go to Super Nintendo, N64, and then a PlayStation 1, and then uh, maybe eventually like a Sega Saturn or a Sega CD, just get some stuff that I never and you know had as a kid either. But uh, it was really cool. It was a lot of stuff seeing there. I, 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 there was, we almost almost left with an N64 inbox. Didn't happen though. I wanted to do some more research on this stuff, uh, but let me show you what I picked up. So like I said, a lot of stuff I couldn't record because there was a lot of music going on in there. Um, I'll show you that in a second. So I ended up buying some VHSs from a guy who was selling them for a dollar to two dollars each. He gave me all of these. I only purchased three of them, I think. I only purchased uh, the um, this one, the Day of the Dumpster, two dollars. I got that one. And then I got the uh, this one here. This is the High Five. And then I also got the Happy Birthday Zach. But I need two more to complete the set. That would have been cool. Um, but really, really awesome. I do have a small VHS collection. Look, hey, look at the Rangers. Look how young they look and definitely 90s. Um, so this is volume four. This one is two and this one is one. And um, really cool, really nostalgic. So the VHSs of these, look at that. It's got the purple sticker on them. Do you guys remember VHSs? Oh, this packaging on this one's completely. So this is a black. Wait, is this even the right VHS? Let's see if it's high five. Yeah, it is. Okay. Love the artwork on these though. And then, so I got two of the Red Rangers. He threw the, he threw that one in. He threw all of his VHSs and he said, like, you might as well take them all. So that was pretty cool for six bucks, I think is what I got everything for, or five. And then we got the Green Ranger miniseries part four. That is awesome. Look at that. Just, oh, memories, man. Because this is the stuff I grew up with. Um, I already have this one. No, I don't. I don't have this one. I actually have part one sealed. Too bad he threw a sticker on there and too bad he put stickers on these. But I mean, it was free. Whoa, it was free though, so it wasn't cool. But I do have part two sealed. Um, look at the stickers that are on that, or the little faces. So they got that and then he gave me Blade also. This is like an embossed cover. So this is actually a pretty, I don't wanna say minty, but it's pretty clean on the box on this one. So pretty cool for, I think it was five or six dollars that I got all of that for. And then I ended up getting this one here I've been wanting this for a while. Uh, fun story, I actually owned this as a kid, and this was like something that I really used to play a lot with growing up, and I've been trying to purchase these again, repurchase them. Um, inbox, they go for a lot of money. Loose, I've seen this guy alone go for like 20 bucks, and I just don't wanna do that. I actually got both of these. I got the guy down to $20 for both of these. I mean, mind, minus, you know, mind you, they're missing their accessories, but for $20, it's not a bad price, I mean, I, 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 okay, so my story. So I remember playing with this one night at the beach with my parents and I was playing in the sand and I lost them. I lost the figures and it, I remember like it bugging me for the longest time, but I remember actually going to purchase these with my parents. So this is a really cool pickup. Uh, I've been wanting to rebuy or re, re, re uh, collect the dinosaur ones. I only, pre, the, from the prehistoric ones, this was the only one that I picked up growing up but now I'm on the hunt to get the rest of them. So that's a quick little video, guys, from Retro Respect at the sports card place in Placentia. Check it out if you're into sports cards or Pokemon cards. They do got that on the regular. But let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys are game collectors, if you have any pointers, any, any um, you know, yeah, a lot of, you know, advice as uh, a person who's trying to get into the vintage collecting, not to resell, but to play. Um, and especially with connections, with connecting them with a, you know, a brand new TV, how all of that works. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you made it this far, let me know what your favorite, growing up, if, especially if you grew up in the 90s or even 2000s, let me know what your favorite console was that brings a lot of nostalgia to you and what game also. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.